In this video, we'll compare window and portable air conditioners on a very basic level. There are outstanding videos out there that go into detail on this topic, like this one from Technology Connections, so there's no need for me to cover the same ground. But with record high temperatures around the world right now, I thought it would be interesting to do some testing of my own and share it with you guys. Window air conditioners have been around forever and get their name because they're installed in a window. They're pretty efficient, don't take up any floor space, or have any hoses or ducts. The condensation also evaporates or drips outside so there's no water to drain either. But portable air conditioners were developed and have become really popular because they're easy to set up for temporary installations and can be moved around or transported without as much effort. But they can be very power hungry and inefficient, especially the ones with a single duct. I'll leave it to other videos to explain that further, but this is what I want to test in this video. To find out the energy consumption difference, I grabbed two air conditioners and installed them in my home. Unfortunately, I don't have two that are the exact same BTU rating, but I'm hoping we can still get enough data to make some conclusions, even if they aren't perfectly comparable. Please note that the portable unit is a single duct model, which is less efficient than two duct models. I installed both air conditioners with a power meter attached to log how many kilowatt hours are consumed over time. I then ran both air conditioners at maximum cool settings for three days. I turned them both on and off at the same time, so they both ran concurrently on three of the hottest days of the year, with highs well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are the results. If we trust the BTU rating of each air conditioner as perfectly accurate, and create our own measure of efficiency by dividing the kilowatt hours consumed by the BTU rating, we can see that they're both almost identical. That was shocking to me, as I expected the portable air conditioner to be much less efficient. However, before we declare them both equally efficient, keep in mind that this is only half the story. There was no way for me to accurately measure the cooling output and effect on indoor air temperatures of each air conditioner. And the major gripe about single duct portable air conditioners is that they intake cold air from inside the house and exhaust it outside which wastes already air-conditioned air and creates negative air pressure which pulls hot air in from outside the house. This has a major overall impact on the effectiveness of single duct portable air conditioners. In conclusion, energy consumption doesn't appear to be a big difference between window and portable air conditioners as some other sources claim. But that doesn't mean they work as well. In theory, there's a big trade-off in cooling output for better portability and convenience. So keep that in mind this summer when you head to the big box store in search of an air conditioner. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting or helpful, please leave a like and a comment below.